Man, I gotta stop going to restaurants. These pants and shirt were not this tight last week. I'm just joking, guys. I'm wearing a few layers because it's cold. I'm not actually getting fat. Uh, so there are a lot of shortfalls to our modern lifestyle, especially diet. Today, we're gonna touch on the three worst things. So hypothetically, if you were mindful of these and adjusted them, you would live a relatively long and happy life. And these are in order of least worst to worst, not getting enough sun, vegetable seed oils, and EMF radiation. These are all things I have spoken about in depth, but you know, if you were gonna approach someone and say, hey, these are the things you really, really need to be careful about, this is it. This is the three like biggest things overall. So you, know, you don't have to do any crazy stuff, critiquing, da, 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 just giving this information to someone, they try it out, they feel better, that would open them up to uh, more things and getting a little crazier with uh, optimizing. So when we say not getting enough sun, most people know that vitamin D is required for hormone synthesis and nutrient metabolism. But what's more significant is not only the physical appearance, you know, your skin health, the cellular turnover. I see so many people with like acne scars doing crazy things like chemical peels and laser treatments. And all you really have to do is go out in the sun and your skin will naturally heal itself. It removes excess nutrients from the liver. So a lot of the vitamins and minerals in our diet are needed to heal the skin. And when we're not in nature every year getting many, many days of sun exposure, those vitamins can build up in our tissues and you know, it kind of inhibits our function because we don't have an efficient way to get rid of them outside of using them to heal tissue. And when you're outside in the sun, you're also generally getting fresh air, you're grounding, and you're seeing far away. So in regards to just overall health, you know, breathing in, you know, non-stuffy poisonous air, we've done videos on that. You're grounding, you're in touch with the earth, you're getting the natural antioxidants, and your eye health is important. You know, we're looking at screens all day, so if you're outside being active, you're very, very important for eye health too. So for the most part, it's pretty simple. When the UV index is high, spring, summer, early fall, you go out, as little clothes as possible and get a lot of sun. You, know, you could just search Frank Tefano vitamin D sun. There's probably half a dozen videos you can watch. Up next is vegetable seed oils. Uh, definitely the worst thing in the diet because whenever people refer to fast food or fried foods or junk foods being bad for you, this is why. This is the only reason. Even if we're talking about just regular conventional flour and butter and pastries, until you put vegetable seed oils in them, they're not actually that bad for you. And we're mainly referring to soybean, canola, and sunflower oils. You have the very hard seed of these plants and they grind them and press them and usually have to add solvents and bleach and all this stuff to, to make them somewhat palatable. And there's a few others here and there, but all of them are super high in omega-6 linoleic acid. And this is why they're inflammatory because the body does not recognize linoleic acid. You know, it's not a natural source of fat in our diet. So when it exceeds a certain percent of our diet, it literally start attacking the tissues in our body because you are what you eat. So if you eat a lot of vegetable seed oils, your cells become composed of vegetable seed oils and the body will literally attack them. So massive, massive inflammation throughout the body because of the high omega-6 content in the diets. And one thing that's also very important to mention is that when we feed these to animals, pork and chicken in particular, that increases the omega-6 in those foods too, as well as eggs. So you might be throwing the omega-6 content in your diet off and causing a lot of inflammation, even just by eating conventional animal products. However, the stability is also important because you know, if you have a cold pressed vegetable seed oil that has not been heated or you have you know, some pork or chicken that hasn't been cooked that bad, it's not as inflammatory, but it's still very bad for you. So there's a difference between you know, deep fried foods and vegetable seed oil versus like regular conventional eggs. Both bad, but one's a little worse. Yeah, we said that already. Toxic seed oils replaced your cellular fat stores. Much more toxic than carbs and protein. Because if you're just eating like bread or low quality red meat, 
there's not nearly as much bad stuff that you're going to have to detox out of your body long term from a caloric perspective. Major catalyst for many chronic diseases. Yeah, when you have that much inflammation in the body and all the tissues are going crazy, I mean, it's, it's the sole cause of heart disease. Uh, you know, even just calcification on its own, a very high amount of calcium in the diet, that's going to cause other things before heart disease if you don't have vegetable seed oils in there. So you really just have to avoid them. You know, use higher quality fats. Uh, I like coconut oil. Refined avocado oil is okay. And then, of course, the animal fats are good for most people especially butter. EMF radiation. EMF radiation. We've spoken a lot about this and it's sometimes hard to get people to understand how bad our modern technology is because most people are used to it their whole lives and to explain it from a scientific or cellular perspective it's very confusing because all you can really say is that oh well the radiation that our bodies are going through all day excites calcium channels in the body, which causes oxidative stress, which kills cells. So, you know, it's going on in the body on a molecular level. So people, you know, it's not like you're getting your hand chopped off, something that people will visually gasp at immediately. And what we're mainly referring to is radio frequency from cell phones, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi is the biggest culprit. And there's others like magnetic fields from power lines or circuit breakers. So in rare circumstances, if you're sleeping close to a power line or a circuit breaker, then you might be having some health issues related to that. But for the most part, it's the radio frequency because everyone is usually on a cell phone or has a router or a lot of Wi-Fi in their environments, especially in the city. Uh, so not only is it really bad for the cells and causing massive oxidative stress, it interrupts your sleep and then that kind of compounds itself into um, all other sorts of health issues. And for that, you know, the easiest and least invasive lifestyle thing is to just wear EMF protective clothing all day and to sleep in a bed canopy or work in a bed canopy. And that can effectively reduce the exposure by like 70, 80% and you can recover when you sleep at night. And then to take it to the next level and, and do a few more things and reduce it further, that takes a little more time and money investment. But overall, uh, you know, I mean, people not wearing shielding clothing is, is the craziest thing from a health perspective because for just $100, $150, you're removing so many negatives. It, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to justify not wearing shielding clothing 24-7. Uh, so if you guys want to learn more about these things, uh, you can search my YouTube channel for other videos, Frank Tefano Vitamin D. Frank Tefano vegetable seed oils, omega-6, Frank Tefano radiation, and we have the websites as well, frank-tefano.com, where you will see everything, frankiestrangemeat.com, where you can get high-quality animal products, especially some animal fats. We have the collagen broth and beef stock as well. Those are, those are pretty interesting. And wifishielding.com, I'm wearing the clothing right now underneath this. And we also have some bed canopies and some other stuff available on there to help you feel and sleep a lot better. This was supposed to be five minutes, but I always go too long. Um, if you guys uh, want to check out some new content that you might not have seen, uh, I do have videos on TikTok that I don't necessarily post to YouTube. Uh, but these videos are also done on TikTok. So if you want to watch this again with a few more things thrown in here and there or just a little different, you can go on TikTok for that as well. But as always, thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. Uh, I sent out the final email for uh, the seminar that should happen in May. So we're gonna see over the next week or two if it's 100% gonna happen, but uh, make sure to email me, frank at frank stefanocom if you guys are interested in attending. And as I said, a moment ago, you can go to frank stefanocom to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you soon.